Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, April the 20th, 2022, and this is episode 3781. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, something old, something new. Stay tuned. Something old, something new. So are you going to be talking about a wedding ceremony and planning for that? No, not at all. I am going to share with you some lyrics of some great songs, but I want to tell you that last night, over the night, you know you dream, right? Sometimes you have dreams that overwhelm you, maybe challenges or disappointments and But boy, for me, last night was just dreaming about friends and connections I've had over the years. I'm 71 years old. I was a pastor church planner for 35 years and had the privilege of being a part of a great Christian ministry, Christian care ministries for for almost 15 years. And I was just I was just so blessed when I when I thought about how people have spoken into my life and encouraged me and walked with me. And I've been able to walk through them and encourage them. And it just, I was overwhelmed. And and it was like in the middle of the night, God says, hey, God is faithful. (laughs) Great is his faithfulness. And so something old, something new. Yeah, an old song and a new song. Thomas Obadiah Chisholm. Born in 1866, died in 1960. That means he lived to be 94 years old. But he had a difficult early adult life. His health was very fragile. Uh, There were periods of time when he was confined to a bed, unable to work. Between bouts of illness, he would have to push himself to put in extra hours at different jobs in order to make ends meet. But after coming to Christ at age 27, Thomas found great comfort in Scripture. And the fact that God was faithful to be his strength in time of illness and weakness and to provide his needs. One of his favorite passages of Scripture was Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Yeah, this morning. Great is thy faithfulness. While away from home on a missions trip, Thomas often wrote to one of his good friends, William Runyon, a relatively unknown musician. Several poems were exchanged in these letters. Runyon found one of William's poems so moving that he decided to compose a musical score to accompany the lyrics. Great is Thy Faithfulness was published in 1923. For several years, the hymn got very little recognition until it was discovered by a Moody Bible Institute professor who loved it so much and requested it sung so often at chapel services that the song became the unofficial theme song of the college. It wasn't until 1945 when George Beverly Shea began to sing that song at Billy Graham Crusades that the hymn was heard around the world. He died at age 94, but during his lifetime, he wrote more than 1,200 poems and hymns including, O oh, to be like thee, and living for Jesus. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not. Thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, Thou forever wilt be. Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth. Thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide. Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. 
Blessings all mine with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. Can you see him this morning? All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. And the new, are you ready? I am surrounded on every side. Can't see the light of day. But I am persuaded beyond all hope you won't let go of me. I stake my claim on every word say, you will not be late. I will sing through fire and thunder, because you are on my side. I trust you with my life. I know my story isn't over, even against all odds. You are a faithful God. You're a faithful God. Oh, Father, thank you for your faithfulness. Lord, help us to rejoice in that today in the midst of whatever we're experiencing and help us to be an encouragement and to bring strength and faith to others. In Jesus' name, amen. Great is thy faithfulness. Hey, have a great Wednesday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.